Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use Tailwind UI with your Jumpstart Pro application. Now, Jumpstart Pro comes with Tailwind CSS, which is the underlying open source CSS framework that Tailwind UI builds upon. Tailwind UI is a set of HTML components that come with all of the Tailwind CSS classes and everything ready to go for you. So if you wanna add something like their pagination or their dropdowns or their uh, cards like this or you know anything that you might want to change design-wise, it's a great tool and something I use all the time. So I wanted to show you how you can use these inside of your Jumpstart Pro app. So I have a Jumpstart Pro app working um, out of the box. We're gonna just drop in a component inside of the About page here, just so you can see how it works. Um, but everything is already set up, fresh brand new Rails application from Jumpstart Pro with no changes at all. So we can go to Tailwind UI, and I've got one of the previews here that you can use. We can copy that, and we'll go into our About HTML template and we wanna put this inside of our container so that it is um, constrained in, in the center of the page. We can just simply paste in their HTML for this and Jumpstart Pro will automatically reload the page and voila, we have that exact same component now in our Rails app. So what's really nice about this is they include all of the styles and so when you copy this stuff over, it should look uh, very similar, exactly the same. What's awesome is that for the most part, you are ready to go with these examples, but there are a couple things I wanna point out here. Some of them require plugins. We've already got the official Tailwind CSS plugins. For example, this one requires the Forms plugin. That is already set up for you, nothing to touch there, and this example will work. Some of those, though, um, if we go down to like the nav bar here, this requires a little bit of JavaScript. So we have written, the github.com slash exit three tailwind CSS stimulus components JavaScript library, which is already included in Jumpstart Pro. And you can use this for um, implementing those dropdowns and things like that. So we have lots of different components um, that are written in stimulus JS, which is uh, the Rails way of doing your JavaScript components. So we've got alerts, um, we've got dropdowns, we've got slide overs. We've got modals, all kinds of stuff that uh, you might want. So popovers and all of that can be implemented with this JavaScript that you just add on top of the Tailwind UI components. So for example, this um, drop down menu here would basically be you adding the drop down component from this library to that element so that it knows when I click this button, when I show the drop down section. So that's really all there is to the JavaScript side of things. And if there's anything else that our library doesn't cover, you're welcome to add it um, to the library. We'd love a contribution, or you can just implement it as a regular stimulus controller in your own application code. Um, the other thing that I wanna point out here is that if for some reason these implement like a list item, Jumpstart Pro actually styles those by default. So if you have, you know, a LI and you have test, and we do another couple of these, and maybe we did an OL with these. Um, one of the things that we do out of the box is include some default styling so that these look appropriate when you render them out. And I just added a link to in here as well to show you those. Those work out of the box, everything looks like you would expect, but Tailwind CSS comes with a CSS reset that actually makes links and ULs and OLs and buttons and everything uh, with zero style, so they're blank slate and it works across browsers, but that is a little bit extreme if you're to download Jumpstart Pro and have no styles out of the box. So I can show you if we remove our anchor and OL and ULs, um, what you would get out of the box with Tailwind CSS. So we give you some base styles, they might conflict with anchors or other things in your Tailwind UI examples, but you can tweak those and add you know, if you're using an OL or a UL, you can basically change the list type, um, list inside, that type of thing. You can go and override those in your HTML, or you're free to go and modify these base styles. We try to keep them as minimal as possible though, so that um, there isn't much overriding to do. But that is really all there is to implementing Tailwind UI in your Jumpstart Pro Rails application. So that um, is how to use it. There's all kinds of awesome examples here. I highly recommend using Tailwind UI. It's just a wonderful, well thought out, well designed set of templates and components that you can use in your Rails app.